Today I'm going to show you how to use Design Extender to build out your full website using your own custom template. Now remember with Design Extender you get um, a ton of templates to choose from, but should you want to use your own template, uh, you can do that too and still use the wizard to build out the site. One of the first things you're going to want to do is set up your site in Dreamweaver. You can click on Site, Manage Sites, and you can set up a new site here. I've set up um, one called Build Site 2. Um, if you click on New Site, you'll get the same interface. You enter your site name. You're going to specify your so site folder. Here I have it in MAMP htdocs. I've chosen my folder. And then you'll probably want to at least set up a testing server. Um, I use localhost. So if you don't have one here, you click the Add button. I'm going to show you what I've set up. So you can name your server name whatever you want. Um, I call it localhost so I know what I'm uploading to. Then you specify the server folder. This is the same folder that your site is going to be stored under. And then for the web URL, if, you're, if you are using your localhost server, then you're going to have http colon slash slash localhost slash and the folder name slash. Okay, so we've got our site all set up. The next thing you're going to want to do is pull in your template to this site. So if you've already built the template, great. You're going to want to put it in a templates folder in your site like this. If not, you're going to want to go ahead and build it here. You can build it to be anything you want, but the, the main thing you're going to want to do is make sure you have an editable region in your template for the menu, an editable region in your template for the content or the main body of your site, the body of all of the pages you'll be basing this template on, and then you also want an editable region for the footer. If you're not familiar with that, the way you create an editable region is to click on the area that you want to be editable, do insert, template objects, editable region, and then you name that region and hit OK. And that's how you're going to set up those editable regions. But you do need these three in order to work with the site building tools in Design Extender. A menu region, a content region, and a footer region. You can call those whatever you want, but you need the three regions. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is now build the site off of this template using Design Extender. You'll click on Web Assist, Build Site, New Site Sculptor Site. Okay, so the site type is what kind of pages it's going to build out. We have some presets in here, um, such as Corporate. If you click Define, you can see the pages that it'll build out. So you can choose whatever site type you want. Now for site design, here's where we're going to use the template you created. I'm going to define the template. I'm going to click New. And I'm going to set up the template for my home page. I'm going to call it Plain. And I'm going to select Dreamweaver Template. If you don't see that you can that you can click this radio button for Dreamweaver template, it means you have not saved the template within the site that you're building in here. So that's why you do need to make sure your templates your templates file is in a templates folder in the site that you're using in Dreamweaver. So I'm going to select main. That was the file name of my template. Okay, it even gives me a handy preview over here. I'm going to click next. So now what I get to do is specify what I want my menu to look like. With Design Extender, you get a bunch of presets from Menu Writer um, and from Site Sculptor. So these tools give you a handful of menus you can select from. If you created a custom one with the menu tools, you would also see that here. I'm going to pick Midnight Oasis. I'm going to keep it aligned left. Now this is where we choose the editable regions. I want my menu in the editable region I named menu. I want my content in the editable region I called content. And same for footer. 
I click Next. Now I'm going to do this for the sub pages. The last two steps were to set up the home page. I click Dreamweaver Template, I'm going to pick Main, Next, and I'm going to go through the same steps. And lastly, I'm going to click Finish. So now in Site Design, I've set up my template called Plane, and I can go ahead and select Plane. Now there are themes under the Site Designs that are different uh, color schemes, basically. And you can use those for the built-in templates, but you're not going to see different variations um, for your own template, because obviously you wouldn't have built them. So I can preview what I've got here. Here's the home page I've set up. And because I used the same template on both, my content page is going to look the same. Gives you a little bit of a different preview to show you what's going into the body, but the shell of the site looks the same. So I'll click Finish. And then you're going to see a lot of flashing as all of the pages get built. Now you can see over here all of my pages have been built with Design Extender site building tools. If I want to make a change to my template, I can open it here. I can go ahead and change what I want, click Save and all of the files based on that template will be updated. So it works just like a regular Dreamweaver template. So let's edit some content and then preview it. Let's go to News and Events and we'll pick News 1. And I'll save it. And let's go ahead and preview it in a browser. So you can see here, this is built off my personal template. I've got a fully functional menu. And I can navigate to the different news pages. Here is the first one that I entered. This is my first news story. You can go back to Dreamweaver, put in all of your content, all of your images. You can edit your template still if you want, and you can build out a full website based on your template. I hope this was helpful and that you have fun building sites with your own custom templates.